ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದಾಯ ವಿಶ್ವತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಹೇತವ ತಾಪತ್ರಯ ವಿನಾಶಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಯಂ ನುಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಯಂ ನುಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಯಂ ನುಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸಾ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಹೌ Bhagwan is instructing Arjuna what he should do and what is that he says mai eva mana adhatsva mai buddhim niveshaya nivasishyasi mai eva ada urdhvam na sanshaya yesterday we talked about what are the different conditions of mind and out of all those conditions of mind single pointedness of mind is the only conducive condition of the mind to be to be to be one with to be one with god to be growing in spirituality to inculcate love and faith in the lord only single pointed mind everything else gives importance to everything other than the lord everything other than the divine so bhagwan is saying ಮೈ ಎವ ಮನ ಆದತ್ ಸ್ವ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಮೀ ಮೈ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮ್ ನಿವೇಶಯ ಎಂಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಬಿಲೀಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ನಿವಸಿಷ್ಯಸಿ ಮೈ ಎವ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ನಿವಸಿಷ್ಯಸಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಆಸ್ ಮೀ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ 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 ಮೂವ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಊರ್ ನ ಅತ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಸ್ reach the ultimate urdham is urdham at the come to the top come to the ultimate come to the climax there is no doubt doubt about me this is my uh, what do you call assurance to you and in this way as long as and yesterday we also told you that for the buddhi for the intellect to completely enter into the lord and completely merge into the lord the prerequisite is that it becomes totally disidentified from the world disengaged from the world dis indifferent to the world oh, my god is that what we have to do that is very difficult no you keep engaging with the lord yesterday we gave you the example you keep engaging and thinking about sleep you become indifferent to the world it drops away from the mind you don't do anything you don't say i'm going to pick pluck out the wife from my head the children from my head the money from my head the work from my head it all just goes away from your mind it just withdraws you know like that it withdraws and that is the healthy way of withdrawal when you would make the world withdraw through some uh, exercise practice tapasya of called pranayam or uh, uh, intense focus on some idea it is very unnatural when it happens naturally by the will of the lord because you are thinking about the divine then it is then you will not fall back into the same trap again once you have transcended it and this is the what this is what was told because and what does what and what we also told you what happens when the when the intellect merges into the divine 
intellect is i the consciousness god in it is individual consciousness as i and god is total consciousness is way other than that ocean no it is part of the ocean exactly the same way they as long as wave is thinking it is a wave it will keep thinking of the ocean once it realizes the ocean what is the prerequisite for the wave to realize ocean it has to give up its waveness that waveness is its form it has to focus on its attention its attention on the water that it is and that is what the individual seeker also does in this love for the lord in this faith in the lord applying his mind and intellect to the towards the lord he merges as the mind becomes purified by chanting the name of the lord by inculcating the love and faith for the lord the mind purifies that is how it purifies it doesn't purify by see no you will hear no you will talk no you will this is all uh, leave it to those uh, people who have suggested it uh, best way is by when the lord makes you uh, dispassionate towards the world and when that happens the union of individual consciousness with god consciousness when that happens what remains behind we asked you yesterday there is no one remaining behind to say now i realized god <laughs> because consciousness whether it is individual or total it is only one consciousness is not two whether the wave is in water is in the wave or water is in the ocean it is one water only so this realization comes about and and as the seeker uh, with that realization uh, the what is the god's view of the total creation that becomes your view of the total creation and in this manner the uh, the seeker the the devotee he the bhagwan is telling arjuna you apply your mind and intellect to me and then continuing he says that athachittam ha uh, yeah in the ninth verse repeat after me athachittam samadhatum athachittam samadhatum na shaknoshi mahi sthiram na shaknoshi mahi sthiram abhyasa yoge na tataha abhyasa yoge na tataha ॉर्ड and you cannot fixate the self what is fixation of the self in the lord that self is god and god is self that is the fixation this complete doubt free conviction or uh, fear bhav but for that you have to first love the lord you then have to have the faith in the lord only then this will start happening hmm? this is the sequence and in this way Mm. once the mind is fixed then the intellect is fixed and then the self is fixed in the divine and now in the uh, see it is very simple rule if you understand either you love the world and give value to the world or you love the lord and give value to the lord love is at the mind level value giving is at the intellect level so where are we giving love and value to? what are we giving love and value to is there a possibility that while functioning in the world we can love, we give love and value to the lord that he is doing everything in do it that way keep your attention on that if you can't then the second verse come adha chitta samadha tum na shakno shi maistaram so here he says if if you are unable to uh, न शक्नोषि मैस्त्रम 
if you are unable to fix your mind and intellect and self in me uh, then uh, uh, then repeatedly try to reach me by the constant practice of the yoga the divine name etc having god as its aim o oh, dhananjaya dhananjaya the victor the victor he is the winner of the wealth so what is wealth here the, the, the name is also appropriate so here winner of the wealth what is the wealth wealth is wealth of the name of the lord because many people find it difficult to inculcate the love and devotion and uh, the uh, straight away thing they need some support no 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 it is so difficult because their value and love for the world has not become less yet so what is to be done we need some intermediate procedure by which we can disentangle from the world and fall into the lap of the lord and what is that here it is here he gives the example what is that abhyasa yogena tataha so by abhyas whichever abhyas you can not necessarily one example he has taken is the naam jap but you can be any other any other it can be shabdanu vit savikalpa samadhi it can be drishyanu vit samika uh, savikalpa samadhi see when dharana dhyan samadhi comes then after dharana what did we say dharana was yesterday intermittent focus dhyan is continuous focus when you are continuously focused the easy one is to take the picture of the lord and become focused on it easy and that is called and when you are continuously mind is merged in the picture of the lord it should not be inert it should be live remember i told you the dhoti should be pitambar should be flowing hair should be blowing and so on so that is called drishyanu vit savikalpa samadhi drishya form is the quality of fire what is the quality of earth smell what is the quality of water taste what is the quality of fire form color and form right so for first that is the first air has got air's quality is to feel but there is no form in air space also sound but no form so the first form comes at the fire element level so we have straight away transcended earth and water we have come to the form and we when our mind is fixated on the form and it's not getting distracted by anything continuously applying itself with the mantra or just the looking at it and the bhav is there that is called drishyanu with savikalpa samadhi savikalpa with a thought what is the thought thought is of the form of the lord once you go through this the example exercise that i gave you two eyes two lips two feet then comes in between before that comes drishyanu with savikalpa no sorry drish shabdanu with savikalpa samadhi shabda is the quality of which which element space huh? space quality is shabd sound and when we are chanting the mantra om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shivaya now the form is also melted away because you want to merge into the lord you have jumped into between the two eyes between the two uh, you have been absorbed but the mantra is still going on mantra hasn't gone so you are still so this is this is called shabdanu vit savikalpa samadhi shabda means shabda is the word savikalpa is the thought samadhi with the thought of the word before samadhi was with the thought of the form so now from fire element you have moved to space element you have become refined more refined more focused more concentrated and then after that comes nirvikalpa samadhi then after that many years of practice of that and studying of vedanta comes sahaja samadhi so here bhagwan is saying abhyasa yogena tatah maam ichhaptum dhananjaya that by constant practice continued whatever practice you choose you keep uh, do it regularly do it sincerely 
do it don't do it mechanically and in this way abhyas abhyas means application of our abilities again and again to a set goal that is abhyas so you are doing abhyas right now because every day at 10 o'clock or 10 10 15 you are arrive here you are applying yourself again and again every day you get up in the morning you get up take bath every that is your abhyas because of abhyas now it has become default setting but here we don't want default setting we want you to be aware abhyas has to be done with awareness it cannot be done mechanically initially it sounds as if it is mechanical it appears as if it is mechanical but if the heart is in the right place faith is there it will convert into the proper uh, uh, yeah. and this agya uh, this abhyas is what is this abhyas uh, whatever practice you are doing many people i see even in just now in dubai also i saw people are lost in yoga pranayam etc etc they want to heal someone they i am doing this pranayam swami ji i have healed so much so many people means they have practiced it and they have got healed themselves their migraine has gone their cancer has gone their uh, uh, diabetes is gone and he was going on and on and on now tell me is yoga for that purpose what is the purpose of yoga yoga itself means union so you have forgotten what you in 96 97 that gentleman started his uh, journey so oh, what was the journey for or was the journey for establishing the world and helping the world or was the journey for uh, realizing the self yes but but somewhere we get lost in between and start using the 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 abilities that we have gained through yoga maybe siddhis also and we start using them and get lost in them yes there are other mahatmas who do it but they are realized mahatma and they don't do siddhis they happen out of them par har ek koi agar so majority of the yoga people they now the new thing they have started what is that pranic healing reiki and uh, what else is there uh, aisi kuch hai ek aur naam hai kuch and they want to heal people are yaar bhagwan ne duniya banayi hai let him take care of his world why you want to interfere in his world you work on yourself because you do pranic healing you do reiki you do such type of things there is a consequence you don't realize that us samay to bahut acha lagta hai maine kyunki it's a ego trip i help someone phir dhoon dhoon ke pakadte hain tere ko help chahiye kya tere ko help chahiye kya और फिर जब प्रॉब्लम आती है फिर स्वामी जी इसके पास भागते हुए जाते हैं स्वामी जी दैट प्रॉब्लम हैज कम इन टू मी आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू मैं क्या करूं फिर देखो सो सम पीपल हैव रियली डिस्ट्रॉयड देयर लाइफ बाय डूइंग ऑल दिस रई की बिजनेस एंड अंटिल अनलेस यू आर नॉट फुल्ली अडेप्ट एट हीलिंग एंड हाउ डू यू बिकम फुल्ली अडेप्ट एट हीलिंग अंटिल अनलेस यू आर नॉट कनेक्टेड विद द डिवाइन only he can protect you from everything okay. you don't get into all this <clears throat> so what is the abhyas that we have to do instead of doing the abhyas of regular pranayam and regular yoga we want to do the abhyas of equanimity what is equanimity not getting disturbed and reacting to every damn thing that the world is throwing at us that is the abhyas then the mind will become calm then in that calm mind we can introduce uh, the, 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 uh, the 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 lord and start thinking about him contemplating on him uh, taking his name etc etc but your mind is not calm what do you, what would you do so it does, it is not that first you become equanimous and then you take the name of lord everything is going on together sometimes you are taking the name the result of taking the name is that you don't get disturbed by the world so in this way 
कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस रावणा डिड कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस हिरण्य कश्यपु डिड कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस अवर प्रहलाद डिड कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस ध्रुवा डिड कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस बट वॉट डिड दे गेट डिड एक्सेप्ट प्रहलाद एवरी वन एल्स वॉज ऑन अगो ट्रिप और दे हैड अड अ हुक दैट आई एम डूइंग दिस साधना फॉर गेटिंग समथिंग दे डिट डू साधना फॉर द सेक ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज इंट इट मेरा बाई डिट फॉर द सेक ऑफ द लॉर्ड सूरदास डिट फॉर द सेक ऑफ द लॉर्ड सी अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस सो हियर if the world if the actions are towards the world by giving value to the world and love for the world it will not lead to god realization if your actions are towards the god that means actions through your abhyas are towards the god and the love is for the lord and uh, the value giving is for the lord then there is a possibility of transformation and absorption into the lord and this way Yeah, yeah, and this will only happen when you make a firm resolve in your life. People say it is difficult, Swamiji. There is this distraction. There is children. There is no time. We have to clean the house. We have to go to work. I go so early in the morning, then come back late. We have n number of ways to find excuses not to be responsible for our own happiness. but if something happens if something happens you will not worry about the consequences you will take the action isn't it that is firm resolve so it is you only you took a firm resolve i am committed to my family you took a firm resolve i am committed to this person as a husband or a wife you took a firm resolve it is my responsibility to take care of the kids it is you have taken the resolve that i am going to give my best at work it is your firm resolve that you will do exercise and eat a, uh, in a measured manner so that your health remains good it is your resolve nobody else has forced you so why is it you so you know how to make a firm resolve so why is it difficult to make a firm resolve that i am going to be committed to the lord in spite of everything we have to make that we are enjoying our studies or schooling all mucking around but the moment year 10 and 12 come the student makes a firm resolve that i can't repeat this exam again i have to pass firm resolve has it dawned on your in your mind that i don't want to take birth again therefore i need to complete my journey in this lifetime has it caught you from inside or you are thinking ah sab theek hai chal raha hai everything is hunky dory abhi to abhi thoda vivek thoda bani pad liya thoda satsang kar liya sam god's name i do all my fasts and all the festivals and i have done good karma and uh, god relation whenever god wants it otherwise next life is there i have done good good deeds so i'll get good life next life, life also this is not firm this is firm resolve to remain in the world what we what we want firm resolve for to merge into the divine to merge into the divine when you get up in the morning every day during the week monday to friday you have practiced you have made some decision in your mind and therefore you do not procrastinate i see her husband he gets up at a time at today i said what's the time i couldn't i didn't have my glasses i thought it was 6:15 he says yeah so i did 6:15 i got two more minutes if i i have to catch the bus because if that bus misses i can catch the next one and i have to catch the train i like to be at work on time firm resolve and he will not deviate from that only if some emergency then it's a different matter 
So do we have that resolve within us that come what may, I am committed to the divine? Because if you are committed, then all your actions will be as an offering to the divine. All your speech will be as an offering to the divine. All your thoughts will be as an offering to the divine. Think. Right now, you have made a firm resolve that I have to take care of the family. So your thoughts, your speech, your actions are only for taking care of the family, isn't it? There is a higher way possible. That while doing all this, you can be committed to the divine also. Doing the same thing, you can be committed to the divine. Find that click within yourself. And in this way, mm, the so here he says, Abhyasa Yogena, that, that, that Lord is declaring that he should seek, the, the, the seeker or the devotee should seek to reach him by constant practice. And uh, in this way, uh, 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 Bhagwan is uh, telling or motivating Arjun to surrender his mind and intellect to him. So, uh, <coughs> uh, if we think that we are going to remember Mayevamana Adatswa that if we think that we have to fix our mind and intellect in the Lord, it is not going to happen that easily. That is the be a better type of devotee who has worked it out. But the one step lower, what is that which will help you to fix your mind and intellect in the Lord? And that is told here that Abhyasa and that Abhyas is uh, 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 abhyas, the firm resolve will come about and uh, in this way uh, we come to the next verse and he says without a resolution in your life we cannot move ahead in any direction this is your experience of life Abhyase pyasamartho si, abhyase pyasamartho si, mat karma paramo bhava, mat karma paramo bhava, madar thamapi karmani, madar thamapi karmani, kurvan siddhim avapsyasi, kurvan siddhim avapsyasi. Abhyase pyasamartho si, mat karma paramo bhava, Madartham api karmani kurvan siddhi ma vapyasi, vapsyasi. If you are unable to practice the above, <laughs> again one more option. So what was the first one? Mayeva mana adatswar. Second one, abhyasa yogena. Huh? Third, here he is saying, uh, abhyase api samarthosi mat karma paramo bhava. If you are not able to do abhyas also, then I'll give you one more option. And what is the option? He says, you, uh, you do whatever actions you are performing in your life with, uh, with, uh, with intent, you perform them for me. So again, these three steps become a ladder to come to Mayeva Mana Adhatswa. If you are not able to do that, do Abhyasa Yoga. If you are not able to do Abhyasa Yoga, you perform the actions that are ordained, that you have to perform in your daily life for my sake. So, how do we begin the satsang? Guru Brahma, Guru Venu, see the arpan kar diya. There is no question of me coming in between. So, same way. We do it in the morning, we light the lamp, we do the puja, etc. Isn't it? We do the, but every moment is required. Every thought, every speech, every action. So here Bhagwan is saying, if you are unable to practice as, as, as told above, the Abhyasa Yoga, the, you, in, you intend on performing the act, ordained actions. What are ordained actions? Actions are also few types. What are the actions? 
there is there is nitya karma you know nitya karma what is it daily activity yeah so whatever you have decided what the scripture say get up in the morning clean up yourself take shower uh, light lamp do your japa do your meditation all that means your uh, uh, sandhya etc nitya karma naimittika karma what is naimittika karma special actions special actions when a child is born the name karan naam karan ceremony when a she is pregnant we do a particular ceremony then the mundan hota hai fir uske baad janeu hota hai uske baad shaadi hoti hai alag alag there are different uh, 16 steps are there uh, that has to be performed during a lifetime of a person the last being shraddh <laughs> for the body theek <laughs> hai so that is done then another karma is this is for uh, doing point of view then there is uh, nishedha karma nishedha karma is what that we should not do what is that we should not do do not kill someone do not speak wrongly with someone do not misappropriate someone do not and all you, you can there are there is a list of it hmm? the nishedha karma or then there is kamya karma kamya karma is all actions which are prompted by desire then there is nishkama karma nishkama karma all actions which are done without which are not prompted by a desire then what is this nishkama karma it you are doing what is required to be done whether your mind has desire to do it or not that is secondary but what i have to do i have to do understand that is nishkama karma that without any uh, a desire so here when it is saying that you do the ordained actions ordained wherever life is placed you at any given moment in your life you will per, you will have to perform something today i was placed at 10 o'clock to shift from that chair to this chair and i had to start speaking on on wherever we left yesterday oh i am feeling uh, meditating i am feeling sleepy i am feeling tired i am feeling this i am feeling that immaterial doesn't matter what has to be done has to be done find the resolve within you to do it yesterday i went to someone's house, surya's house and there the, the kid every one hour he gets up that she, she gets up doesn't sleep every one hour whole night so the father was saying so he now i have moved into another room but since i moved to another room she makes louder noise now <laughs> and i get up from the sleep to kya kar sakte ho tumne you produced her <laughs> now book to thode din chalega uske baad theek ho jayega aur kya to and and when we do actions for the lord what does it mean when we perform actions for the lord we are not taking ownership of the action we are performing it for the lord what does it mean it becomes selfless action isn't it so here he says madad madartham api karmani perform all the actions for for my for my sake and thus the uh, doing the the selfless action for my sake kurvan siddhim avapsesi you shall achieve kurvan siddhi siddhi is perfection you will attain the goal that you are seeking and what is the process what is that uh, how come by performing actions and per, per, performing it for the lord i will come to mai eva mana adatsa how is that possible understand the sequence that why you were not able to do the first part first verse because there was no discipline second verse was brought to tell you okay if you want to do the first one bring discipline automatically you will get there but you say discipline is also not possible <laughs> you are a creative you know discipline also is not possible. okay not possible whatever you are doing in life 
offer it to me automatically discipline will come because we have to make a abhyas so we don't want to do a special abhyas so doing whatever we are doing can we make it into an abhyas so bhagwan is saying here whatever you are ordained to do in life after this i have to go and eat lunch somewhere and some of you also have to come okay. what what did what did uh, praveen say he said one day he stayed at home he ate so much in one food one whole day he says better to be at office <laughs> than stay at home <laughs> अच्छा नहीं अच्छा नहीं अच्छे की बात नहीं है पर इतना मिल जाता है इधर प्यार से देते हैं तो ज्यादा खा जाता है हाँ और कोई पूछता नहीं है बस सामने कॉफी आ जाती है टी आ जाती है एक बार पी लो दो बार पी लो चार बार पी गया अगर तो सेम थिंग पीपल वेन दे आर ट्रेवलिंग विद आर्स अभी प्रकाश वगैरह कभी कभी आ रहा है तो ब्रेकफास्ट भी खा रहा है लंच भी खा रहा है डिनर भी खा रहा है परेशान हो गया वो <laughs> परेशान हो गया तो यू हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू ईट अ बैलेंस्ड कि इतना ही खाना है इससे ज्यादा नहीं खाना है एक चपाती खानी है और दो चपाती खानी है यू नो हाउ मच यू कैन हैंडल पर अच्छा है ये भी दबाओ वो भी दबाओ बीच में भी खाओ वो भी ऐसे नहीं होता ये अभ्यास नहीं है अभ्यास इज टू maintain a constant intake fixed intake without thoda deviation chalta hai but not too much that you get disturbed completely <coughs> so and the uh, selfless action for my sake and so when a person performs action for the sake of the lord what happens first thing he becomes purified because his attention is not on action his attention is on lord on the lord so right now i don't know what words are going to come out of my mouth what example is going to come out of my mouth i have not contemplated on that i'm not coming with pre planning that i no so wherever life has placed you some action will happen Yeah, our commitment, our resolve is that every action has to be performed for the sake of the Lord, as an offering to the Lord. You keep performing, so you are slowly, slowly. Initially, it will happen that you will remember after the action. Oh, I did not offer it. You will offer it. Some slowly, slowly, as that continues, then you will remember that I have to act, perform the action for the sake of the Lord before the action is performed. sometimes you will remember it during the action sometimes you will remember it after the action and as you practice this over and over and over a point will come that your attention will remain on the lord before during and after and action keeps going on <laughs> whichever action and that's a healthy that's a healthy one now what is happening in that when your attention is continuously on the lord and action before during and after abhyas is going on that was what told, was told in the previous verse abhyasa yoga na so you continuously practicing you are doing the abhyas of remembering the lord but where did you start from by surrendering the because your attention was on body your attention was on your personality your per, attention was on your duty all the lord is saying is perform all the actions for my sake automatically you will reach to perfection it doesn't mean karma yoga will lead to perfection it means karma yoga will bring about purification purification leads to single abhyas abhyas leads to single pointedness of mind that single pointedness of mind then the first verse mai eva mana adat so you apply that mind and intellect to the lord and merge into him this is the sequence so we are coming down one by one and in this manner <coughs> uh hmm athai tadapya shakt 
ಶಕ್ತೋಸೀ ಅಥೈತದಪ್ಯಶಕ್ತೋಸೀ ಕರ್ತು ಮಧ್ಯೋಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಕರ್ತು ಮಧ್ಯೋಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಸರ್ವಕರ್ಮಫಲತ್ಯಾಗಂ ಸರ್ವಕರ್ಮಫಲತ್ಯಾಗಂ ತತಕ್ಕುರುಯತ್ಮವಾನ್ ತತಕ್ಕುರುಯತ್ಮವಾನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಔಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೀ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅವೇ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿಪರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ರೂಮ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ what was the first step yama niyama yama niyama is what you have to live a lifestyle wherein you do not disturb the world by thought word and deed and not get disturbed by the world thought and thought word and deed of other people this is the first step and we are reacting left right and center and making ourselves believe that i am a meditator because i sit for half an hour in the morning or half an hour in the evening stupid fellows can't reach anywhere they're just fooling themselves instead of meditation if if you are if your mind is disturbed they will not tell other people they will show oh, they will control their body completely but when we come then they tell us swami ji even in meditation there are many thoughts coming what to do then who whom are you showing it for so imagine if that person if a person is set doing meditation every day swami ji i do two hours of meditation every day two sessions every day and if his mind is still disturbed what will i tell him i'll say you come down from meditation start chanting the name of the lord he says chanting swami ji i never chanted the name of the lord very difficult i said okay you remain equanimous do pratyahar that is also very difficult so i mean my mind goes here there everywhere okay control your senses he says control senses i never control my senses i only know how to sit in meditation he is thinking he is doing meditation <laughs> then you come down again okay you can't do meditation okay do some pranayam if you can't do that then i will say do yoga you can't do yoga then you do uh, what do you call near live a disciplined life niyama can't do that do yama live in this world without uh, disturbing anyone or getting disturbed that's the basic minimum and that's what bhagwan is doing here he is bringing uh, he is lowering the bar for arjun arjun has understood the first one itself but for our sake through arjun for all the seekers that are going to come in this world for them these uh, statements are there so that we understand if we are not able to do some things in our sadhana where are we stuck okay go back see all day you cannot continue to do japa very difficult or do meditation then rest of the time uh, do some weeding go for a walk clean the house Uh, do something or the other sometimes physical is required sometimes breath work is required sometimes uh, uh, japa is required sometimes meditation is required sometimes sleep is also required <laughs> now how do you sleep do you sleep by taking the name of the lord or thinking about what we, what all jobs you have to do she must be thinking what breakfast i have to make <laughs> so rotang 5:30 she wakes up oh i have to make good noodles today <laughs> or <laughs> shave today because she went with the thought of that shave the options she gave herself that what should i make tomorrow and she went to sleep are we going to sleep by taking the name of the lord you will get up taking the name of the lord program yourself like that trust that when the time comes the right thought will come and breakfast will be made why we have to spend so many hours thinking about it you understand once upon a time i used to spend lot of hours to give a lecture 
because i'll be preparing i'll be thinking what example were and it came out very unnatural sir you can cover it up but early years you know when just newly come out of ashram sabhi ji said start taking lectures what lectures chutti ho jati thi kabhi bola hi nahi the kisi ke samne but now no preparation is required okay. but still we study the sequence of verses so that we can do justice to it so here he says अथ एक अभी शक्तोसी कर्त मद्योगश्रिता सर्वकर्म फल त्याग तद कुर यतात्मवान्सॉर्टिंग टू योगा इफ यू आर अनेबल टू डू इवन दि इवन दिस द डिप्लिन मेन्शन इन द प्रिसीडिंग वर्स वॉट आर द वॉट आर द डिप्लिन टोल्ड परफॉर्म ऑल एक्शन फॉर माय सेक दिस वॉज द डिकटेट बाय द लॉर्ड इज एन रिट If you are not able to do that, then do yoga. <laughs> and what is that? What is that? And by doing yoga, by the Ashtanga yoga or Kriya yoga or Kundalini yoga or Japa yoga or uh, uh, so many uh, Aghori yoga is there, Prem yoga is there. So many different yogas are there. Take anything and do and do, and do what? Why? Why is yoga done? it is only for one person for one reason to sublimate your senses this outward going track which the senses have we try to bring make them a u turn so that they stop sabotaging your journey to yourself so he says by subduing your mind senses and intellect by and eventually coming to equanimity renounce the fruit of all your actions so even one step further down before it was perform all actions for my sake and if you are not able to remember the lord after the action or during the action or before the action so i mean it is very difficult to i what do i do okay renounce the fruit of your action do it as a do the karma as a yoga as a as a commitment but because you are some people are addicted to action what can you do then what do you do whatever the result you offer it as the as a take it as the prasad of the lord don't don't put your attention on the fruit you put your attention on the karma so that is the second chapter verse karmanneva dikarase dikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana so uh, 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 renounce the fruit of all actions by being being equanimous in all actions means maintain a uh, balanced mind don't go don't get excited by if things are going your way and don't get depressed if things are going not going your way and in this way Again, first one was Maya Vaman Adatswa. Fix your mind in me and your intellect in me with love and faith. If you are not able to do that, Abhyasa Yoga no konde Abhyasa Yoga. If you are not able to do that, perform all the actions for my sake before, during, and after. If you are not able to do that, what is the fourth one? Ah. Huh? ha uh, renounce all the fruits of your action and uh, 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 and do some physical exercise in order to uh, 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 purify yourself and see where is our problem our mind is functioning only in past and future all thoughts in our mind are only about past and future there are no thoughts in the present so if we have got no if we do not have the ability to have a make a firm resolve that i am committing to the lord and that's it then we come down and we come to this fourth step where we are hand we don't know how to handle our thoughts so when we renounce the fruit of all actions we are taking care of our future thoughts so 
whenever our attention is on the result a result can be good or bad if it is good memory will be created if it is bad again a memory will be created we are trying to and also when can if i am thinking right now what is the meal going to be for lunch i don't know but i'm thinking about it i don't think i should be eating spicy whose house is it is it andhra food or tamil food or indian food what type of food is it i hope they don't make it spicy and i'm keeping thinking again and again and again and again i'll work myself up <laughs> i'll become anxious see and this is what happens when our attention when we perform any action in our life with a view to the result we invest in a property with wanting some result in return we invest in a, a share market or mutual funds with a result in return we put in in fixed deposit with a result with a view to the result and it has become a norm for us but what is it re- leading to it leading to anxiety if things don't go your way according to your plan what will happen then prepare so here he is saying renounce the fruits of your actions we must plan we must perform the actions because that is there is no other choice but don't expect a particular result from those actions whatever result comes offer it to the lord lesson if it is not conducive lesson learnt bhagwan you give me the acumen to perform better if it is good result also perform offer it to the lord what is happening remember i told you mind is working in the having thoughts of past and future if you renounce the thoughts of the future the result your mind becomes 50% purified <laughs> because future result you don't know we get anxious about result only no like some uh, you are all worried yesterday the swami ji we should uh, worry we, uh, i should i want to put my children to some classes and is it not right that they should study the scriptures and they should study the bhagavad gita and they should study music and they should they should get they should be interested in the scriptures and adhyatma from now itself very valid point isn't it everyone you also must have thought you must have also thought about your children but tell me did you go to any spiritual classes when you were young you turned out to be okay why you make their life difficult man leave them alone let them study let them enjoy this is the time to play but no because the whole society is going in one direction you have to go to this also you have to go to carnatic music also you have to go to hindustani music also you have to go to swimming also you have to go to uh, piano also you have to go for english special english classes also you have to go for that also which special school you went i didn't go to any special school still i am okay did you go to any grammar school you turned out to be okay think unnecessarily create too much stress on your head and make their life difficult wherever it is possible it's okay but overly not giving them one day free for themselves one hour free for themselves because by the time they come back from some classes it's 8 o'clock 9 o'clock now you can go to sleep why the parents want free time <laughs> think it is not that they want them to sleep it they want the free time bahut ho gaya bhag dod सोचो जरा तो दैट्स व्हाट आई टोल्ड दिस जेंटलमैन एज इट यू यू आर फ्रॉम नेपाल योर पेरेंट्स ही टोल्ड मी ही सेड या आई डिंट गो टू एनी स्पेशल स्कूल आई डिंट गो टू एनी आई वाज नॉट द बेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आई वाज नॉट आई डिंट गो टू एनी स्क्रिप्चुअल क्लासेस आई सेड बट यू हैव द लव फॉर वेदांता इज इन इट एंड यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सत्संग एट योर प्लेस He says yes. I said then why are you making their life miserable? <laughs> Your daughter's life. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Their daughters were happy. 
कोई तो सम्मान इज स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम आवर साइड सो वंस यू स्टॉप वरिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर देन यू कैन परफॉर्म द एक्शन इवन विद मोर अर्नेसनेस विद सिंसेरिटी बिकॉज देर इज नो क्लटर ऑफ वॉट इफ इट डजेंट हैपन वॉट इफ इट हैपन्स नथिंग लाइक दैट यू जस्ट परफॉर्म अ फिफ्टी परसेंट प्योरिफाइड माइंड हैज गॉट मोर कैपेसिटी इज मोर फोकस्ड दैन अ हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लटर्ड माइंड अंडरस्टैंड और स्लोली स्लोली यू स्टार्ट मूविंग अपवर्ड्स द फोर वर्सेज दैट वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट जस्ट नाउ सो अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड द होल बिग पिक्चर वी आर कॉट अप इन द स्मॉल थिंग्स continuing from here we will just i think one more verse is there to come ah now from this eighth verse onwards uh to the till eighth to the 11th the various levels of how to apply yourself to the lord were given and now a new thought begins we will not take it cuz <laughs> then another topic begins and uh, the lord says that the four methods were given and now arjuna uh, in case arjuna is not able to apply himself on any of the four ones mayeva mana abhyasa perform all actions for my sake then do yoga and renounce the fruit of the action if he is not able to do any of this so uh, uh, the and it is not uh, the, the the fourth renunciation of the fruit of action he must not feel that renunciation of the fruit of action is a lower process lower means and applying your heart and mind or the mind and intellect to the lord is a higher sadhana this is what we think isn't it there is no higher and lower everything has its own place if you don't do the first one you can't get to the fourth one if you got four chapatis and you say every day i eat four chapatis and the fourth one i my tummy becomes full yes it does does become full oh, i will eat straight away the fourth one i will not eat the first three will your tummy get full will your tummy get full still that that is still the first one isn't it exactly the same way you try to jump and shortcut and uh, uh, copy paste looking at someone and you know, i think i am an intellectual fellow i have studied vedanta i am following gyan mark karma yog hai <laughs> bhakti oh, i am not a emotional person all this is wrong conclusions everything has its place we are a composite person isn't it as a person we are body is also there emotion mind also where emotions are experienced that is also there intellect where uh, faith is there that is also there decision making is there so we can't majority of us live only at body level we are never catered to the breath we are never catered to the mind we are never catered to the intellect majority of the time it's only for the body sake live a balanced life and and therefore here bhagwan just so that arjun doesn't think that performing actions and giving renouncing the fruit of the action is a lower one in the 12th verse onwards uh, 12th and uh, maybe the next one the bhagwan starts singing the glory of renouncing the renunciation of the fruit of action this was also told in the 5th chapter karma sanyasa yoga remember chapter 5 was told karma sanyasa yog did he understand did he not we don't know he must have understood that's why his doubts were clear but did we understand so again it is being told because 
throughout the bhagavad gita so many times samatvam yog is used throughout the bhagavad gita so many times remain equanimous control remain undisturbed by opposites is told throughout the bhagavad gita so many places again and again from second chapter onwards bhagwan has told give your mind to me or apply your mind to me or focus your mind on me or become concentrated on me so many ways so he is just repeating it again and again for our sake so here he says श्रेयो हि ज्ञानमभ्यासो हि ज्ञानमभ्यासाध्यानम विशिष्य ज्ञानाध्यानम विशिष्य ध्यानाकर्मफल त्याग ध्यानाकर्मफल त्याग ध्यानाकर्मफल त्याग त्यागा शांतिरनंतरम त्यागा शांतिरनंतरम नाउ हियर ही इज गिविंग यू अ सीक्वेंस दैट श्रेयो श्रेयो इज बेटर बेटर दैन बेटर इंडीड इज नॉलेज देन प्रैक्टिस नॉलेज इज बेटर देन प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज थ्रू इंटेलेक्ट व्हेन यू हैव फेथ एंड अप्लाई टू द लॉर्ड स्ट्रेट अवे यू गो so better indeed is knowledge than practice better in turn is meditation i mean that doesn't mean that uh, meditation is better than uh, uh, knowledge and practice no meditation is required but meditation can lead you uh, uh, let's let's talk talk the other things if you are not able to practice gyan then you must do abhyasa if you are not able to do abhyasa of applying yourself to the law divine then do meditation calm your mind if you are not able to do meditation then it says better than meditation is renunciation of the fruits of action so if you are not able to re- meditate what do you do renounce the fruit of action and so, uh, what happens by uh, renunciation means there is a statement in uh, kaivalya upanishad te age nahi ke amritatva manasho na karmana na praja yadhane na te age nahi ke amritatva manasho te age nahi ke not by na karmana not by karma you can gain immortality not by producing children you can gain immortality not by wealth you can attain gain immortality how do you gain immortality त्यागे न एक ओनली बाय गिविंग अप ओनली बाय गिविंग अप वी कैन अटेन ए मॉडलिटी सो हियर अगेन ही सेंग ध्यानात कर्म फल त्याग ध्यानात बेटर देन ध्यान इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू ध्यान देन यू डू रिनाउंसिएशन गिविंग लर्न टू गिव अप गिव अप योर थॉट्स गिव अप योर स्पीच गिव अप योर एक्शंस where to the lord if you can't do that to the lord renounce the fruit of the action and what will renunciation lead to renunciation of the fruit of action what will lead to tyaga shanti anandaram you will get eternal peace because and that's what is your experience every night you give you focus on something higher and the world goes out of your mind here also i already explained how renunciation helps you the 50% of your mind becomes free then you go to the another time i'll tell you some more <laughs> the whole sequence of bhagavad gita so in this way supreme P, if we renounce immediately peace follows if you hold on immediately moodha क्षिप्त विक्षिप्त और निरुद्ध हैपन्स एकाग्र डजेंट हैपन बट द मोमेंट यू रिनाउंस यू आर एट पीस द मोमेंट यूर माइंड इज एम टी यू आर एट पीस मोमेंट यूर डिजायर इज फुलफिल्ड ओ आई एम हंग्री आई एम हंग्री हंग्री द मोमेंट यू रिनाउंस द डिजायर ऑफ हंगर यू आर एट पीस बाय डूइंग वॉट एवर 
So in this way, the Bhagwan is reiterating the fact that the renunciation of action is the basic minimum that a devotee or a seeker or a, one who is wanting to merge in the Lord, he must begin. Yes, that was the best one, applying the mind and intellect to the Lord. But if you are not, begin from the basic. Because when you are at the body level, what is that? You are doing action. Whatever action you are doing, it is for a result. Renounce the result. And in this manner, we will conclude here so that at least this much we can practice in our life. <laughs> We will see uh, another time. Kahi pe mil jata hai. Uh, uh, I don't think this in next three days we'll get a time to continue Bhagavad Gita this chapter. But maybe somewhere else I get a chance. I'll continue and you can listen to it. Huh? So till verse twelve we have seen, and we'll conclude here. But understand this the sequence of it. Don't keep thinking in your mind, I'm the best one. <laughs> if you are not the best one, come down to the next. If that is also creating agitation, come down to the next. If that is also, con uh, uh, not, abhyas is not possible, come down to the next. Offer everything to the Lord. There also some uh, agitation is coming. How do I offer to the Lord? When do I offer to the Lord? How do I offer to the Lord? Come back to the next. <laughs> <laughs> renounce, renounce the action and, in the, and with this we conclude today's satsang Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnahat Purnapurna Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavashishyate Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Hari Om Just sit quietly for a moment. Thank you.